Start call us on 01604 24343. That's 01604 24343. And remember that date again, March the 13th. Well, I wonder how many of us can remember what our neighbourhood looked like 10, 20, even 50 years ago. Well, one thing's for sure, nobody's going to remember what it looked like 150 years ago. But if you're from Cambridgeshire, well, there is a way of finding out. A history in pictures has been kept by one local expert. He's now retiring after devoting his life to making the county's history more accessible. of some 400,000 photographs are like a doorway to discover Cambridge past. Mike Petty spent 30 years building up a picture of local history at the library in Lion Yard. The archives go back to the 1800s and beyond, but they've only recently come to light. When I first arrived in the Cambridgeshire collection, it was in a cupboard almost as wide as this, uh, piled from floor to ceiling with books that nobody had ever had chance to look at for over 120 years. The collections blossomed with more than a thousand visitors each month. Under the watchful eye of John Pink, who founded the collection in 1855, Mr Petty has modernised local history. He says it has great relevance to Cambridge today. I think the more that you start to look into your locality, you'll realise just how much ideas go round and round the closure of Bridge Street, for example, to traffic, which has happened only very recently. But to enable you to track that back and discover when the ideas first occurred and how it's looked in years gone past. It's not just the old pictures that hold a special place in the collection's history. Mr Petty himself is retiring. His role will pass to his assistant, Chris Jakes. But there's still much to do. Next month, it's the 50th anniversary of the Fenland floods. Rest assured, as Mr Petty leaves behind the detailed record of county history, he's ensured future generations will get a generous slice of local life. Mm. Fabulous photos. I know, I know, idea they existed. I'm yes, I've been in there, and I have to say, you can spend hours and hours and hours. Yeah, and some of them were so old they didn't even feature Stuart Charles. <laughs> believe it or not. True. What's in sports, Stuart? <laughs> well, we shall have uh, a sporting star who's had to squeeze in his exams between international appearances. Coming shortly. <laughs> Another exam. <laughs> Jersey. Did I say that we've got some of Europe's cleanest beaches? Jersey. The cream of holidays. 0800 66 9900. 